Hello? Hello! Uh, I'm here. No, that's it. Okay, no worries. Um, we're just waiting for you guys to, to get on. Um, but we will, we will start and introduce ourselves. My name's Kira, and this is the lovely Linda. Good evening. And we are here today to talk to you about Cook Expert. We apologise for the rush, um, but we have been filming all day. And we got a phone call, uh, as you may be aware, from Maria, um, the lovely Maria yesterday, asking us if we'd like to come and do a little bit of Facebook Live for you guys. And we thought, yes, definitely. And um, then we sort of forgot about it. And we've been filming all day. That's why. And then we were like, oh gosh, what are we going to do for you? So we're going to take you through what we're making for dinner and answer all of your questions. Because um, it's been a bit frantic. But luckily, we have three other that's so we can yeah. sort of take you through. So the first thing I think everyone's sort of asking is where can they see and experience the Cook Expert? Um, and as you may or may not be aware, we are not going to be selling um, in department stores to begin with or electrical retail stores. We are, however, looking places for you guys to come and see and experience the Cook Expert. We think the hands-on experience um, is the best way to, to learn and discover. And we want you to learn and discover it from trained personnel. So we're looking at, we're having conversations with high-end kitchen specialists, um, and we'll be at pop-up venues around the summer and, and beyond. So I think if you join our Cook Expert UK Facebook page, we're going to be at Coach Fire Live. Yes, that's the next one. That is the next one. So that's at Blenheim Palace, and that's from the 1st and 4th August. Castle Howard, which is up in New York. Uh, and then working in time, but if you join the Facebook group, we keep you guys updated. And then looking at some high end specialist kitchen stores, um, likely in September. So if we if we get started, yeah. Good well, venue, so we're yes. spreading it around. Aren't we, we are, we okay. are. Um, so, shall I talk you through the Cook Expert? Um, people have talked about it. So, we've got the three colours on display, say we were filming earlier Saturn, red, and black. Um, they are rather gorgeous. I'm very excited because they look good as well as perform well. Um, so we'll, I'll talk you through what we're having for supper. So in this one, um, you can see on the display, the wonderful thing is you can actually prove the bread in these. Um, and in fact, I should show you how we make bread. Um, but as soon as you take the lid off, it pauses the program and it will start up again as soon. How good is my dough? <laughs> Um, put the lid back on and it carries on. So this will pause it. So lid off, it stops. It reminds you that you need to have the lid on. The lid goes back on and auto one press and it picks up the program again. It's wonderful. The best thing about the Cook Expert for me is that you're in charge. Um, so in this boy, um, I've just got the, the cap on the side. So the cap you can lift off during programs. Um, you can see what you're doing, but the great thing is you can add ingredients. So exactly the same thing. This has been set, um, and this is another good feature that's worth looking at, um, absolutely no stirring. So you can set the program, I'm simmering. Oh. Man, we're going to eat well tonight. We are. <laughs> Basque chicken. We'll um, finish off with a handful of black olives and that's ready to go. So this is just simmering now. Um, lots of uh, sliced onion and pepper completely. And just to, to sort of jump in here as well, some of you may or may not be aware, we have the Cook Expert app, which is a completely free app. You can find it on the Google Play Store or the iPhone Store. I have a so. Um, and it's completely free and it's on there and it's very, very easy to follow. And um, that's, what, that's what we're using tonight. And with the Cook Expert, you also get a 300 page uh, recipe book. At the moment, it's an e book, so those of you who have pre ordered will have the e book and we'll be sending you guys the, the newly printed book that is currently in print, um, which will be end of August, which is very exciting. Spot on, here. And I found the app particularly good. Um, as soon as I got the uh, Cook Expert, it comes with um, an aside menu your first week. Yes. So working through that, it just gives you um, a rounded view on how to use it. So step by step, and it's only two recipes a day, mm -hmm. a breakfast and either a lunch or a supper. Um, but it's a really great way to find your way, now, navigate your way around the screen, which is so intuitive. Um, and I've got a little possibility, so I just want to show yes. you a trick. <laughs> Okay. Um, you can use this ebook with me. I do a lot of baking, so with floury hands, um, or if you 
have wet hands, which you have often in the kitchen. Um, it's difficult to navigate touch screens, which is why it's difficult to use your iPad. However, this is totally waterproof and I can get the bit of spinach from the side, but I can wipe down and the buttons down each side are press buttons. So it's completely interactive and intuitive, even when it's wet or you've got slippery hands. Um, that is a real bonus if you do enjoy your kitchen and your food and you're in the kitchen a lot preparing. So and it's just, a terrific aid. Just to jump in, I am trying to monitor what you guys are saying so we can make sure that we're answering any questions that you have. That a lot of people are commenting on your lovely kitchen right there. Oh really? Yes. So just Thank let you know, you. we are in Linda's kitchen. So um, I work down at, at the head office in, um, in Godalming, but Linda has invited us into our kitchen so we can do some filming. So Linda comes from a very, very food yes, background, background. background, and uh, you judge, is it British pie? Um, I was a judge from the very first of the um, World Bread Awards, which is always a uh, judge down in London, and that's really exciting. Um, lots of fun, I feel very privileged to be on board with that, because bread is where I probably mm. started, but now all around food and yes, it's for the love of food and passion of food and devoted to magic mix that I'm here today and that you're in my kitchen. Yeah. Um, we've dragged you along to the other um, cook expert and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make bread. So you mentioned um, judging at the World Bread Awards, I also judge at High Awards. Probably my number three job after being associated with cook expert bread eating all the pies is definitely a good job to have. Um, so, judge at pie awards and also cookery schools up and down the country, lots of WI work. Um, so yes, I'm coming from years of academy training. Um, bread could not be easier. So I've weighed in 250 grams of flour and um, 150 millilitres of water. I'm going to use the plunger from the food processor. Uh, before I had the cook expert, I would say that this is probably, this combo is the kind of kit I would have taken on holiday with me. This has so many uses, but it's great for measuring water and it has increments just for all the bread recipes. It's like it was designed personally for me and this is a bread brilliant bread scraper, but it's the tool that you use with the food processor. We'd not be without this. And just to say, we'll show you guys in a minute that this kit all comes together. So you get your metal bowl for your cooking on the induction tape, but you also get your food processor for your slicing, grating. I hear that a few of you are quite happy that it grates. So yes, it does grate and um, everything else, but we'll take you through the bread class. And then Absolutely. Them. In fact, we can do, we can, besides going through it, we'll actually do some yeah. demonstrating as well. Um, and that's what makes this brilliant, because it really is an all-in-one. You can get away with having no knife skills if you can do the grating and the slicing is kind of clear as we said. So this is a grand chance for me to show you how the lovely digital screen works. Um, you have the programs and you just work through baking and okay. So you have the option to do pastry. I, the pastry um, program is absolutely fabulous. Um, I've used it and you truly put everything in, press the button, one button, and it makes awesome pastry. I wish I had time to show you all these things. I'm getting a bit excited. I just had one question I just seen. Yeah. It says, is 200 grams flour max amount for that bread making? No, I'm using 250 for this recipe. Um, but the maximum amount is 500 grams of flour because you've got the extra volume and weight of water and any added ingredients. So don't go beyond 500 grams. But that's good enough. I'll show you how yes. it Anyway, it's bread baking, so automatic. Once you, the programs, um, you choose the one you want. And if you guys listen how quiet it is as well, that's one of the, one of the beautiful features that you show it has to, which let you enjoy the quietness but also see how effective it is. It's this blender mix on the inside of the bowl in conjunction with the, um, the universal blade. See how it's mixing the dough? It's working at five, and something else happens in a moment. But this whole program is one button, and it does it all for you, and it's the best bread mixer I've come across. And I'm saying that hand on heart, and I've used 
hundreds of appliances. Uh, something went beep there, that's, this cook expert has now finished, it just makes one beep. So if you're in the kitchen, you know it's finished, but it's got a double wall. The bowl is metal, double wall, and it keeps the food hot for two hours. <laughs> Fabulous. And um, so I'll just let you have a little look in there, peep in there, and then we'll go back to the bread. Brilliant. So this is made supper, and there are eight pieces of chicken in this. That's to feed for very hungry people. Uh, coming back, the bread has paused. So it beeped and it's now flashing. And at this stage, you can remove the cap. So we can see what's going on through the glass lid. Massive bonus, love that. Then the cap can take off and I would add oil seeds, um, some dried tomatoes, whatever you fancy putting in there, that's when you would add it now. Lid back on. But you can also take off the lid. And auto. So it just paused for you to do that. It has picked up a bit now, and it's on nine. So this is dynamic kneading, and it's working it better than, frankly, I would. Um, that's a bummer. Cool. That's <laughs> but you're, you're working the machine for Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I just do a little bit of dancing on the Come side, right, burn up the calories so I can still eat bread. Um, so this is, I, I just love this bread program, and now that I've discovered the pastry program as well, I actually love pastry. We were talking when I did that, you haven't actually used the pastry program yet. I know, I it. used it yesterday yeah. for the first time, and I was doing a WI talk in the evening, and I did um, eight tarts. The talk was the joy of tarts, and I have to say I was a very joyful tart that night. I love that you <laughs> did it. You went into the WI talk, and I know it sounds a bit silly, but you went in, you hadn't practiced it beforehand, you were just like, well, I'm going to trust I'm going to trust it. Absolutely. And that's, yeah. I've used it enough mm -hmm. to appreciate already that everything it does has been well thought out. I think it's a cracking design. And so, and we gave, we yeah, gave I wasn't too too unsure that it wouldn't pull out all the stops and do a grand piece of pastry. And, and be honest, so you, you've been using it now since May. Yep. How many times a day do you use it? Several. Yeah. I mean, today has been exceptional. Um, okay, on a typical day, when well, it's just you and Jeff. Yeah. Several. Yeah. Several, because I would do my breakfast in it, um, I might make a batch of bread, it rinses itself. Get out of town. <laughs> it's my favourite. I'm just like, yes. Thank um, you. And, which is awesome. Are there some questions? People talking to us? Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, well, I shall get the bread out while Kira, uh, Kira looks at the question. Look at this. Absolutely super. And it all comes away. Oh, did you notice I put my hands in here? Um, it's a universal blade, and because of the blender mix and the dynamic kneading, you can put your hands in because these blades aren't sharp. It's all to do with the com combined effort of the Magimix blender mix and the universal blade and the speed. Mm -hmm. That's what gives you all the different results. Whereas um, the food processor, that has the razor shot blade. So I'll show you how good that is at the moment. And while you're just doing that, just to answer some of your questions, in terms of advantage to buy the XXL dough blade, um, realistically, we found that if you're making donuts, um, it's quite good because it helps um, the stickier doughs. And in terms of just creating a slightly bigger volume, but realistically, not unless you're going to be using donuts. Yeah. And it's um, a fantastic tool. On. Yeah, I think it's a personal choice thing, but it's not at all necessary. No. Um, three weeks ago, I was working at um, Denman WI College, and we did Danish pastry, brioche, and croissants, and we did it yeah. without the dough blade. So we did it just with a regular blade. Um, Oh, and here's a hot tip that if you are keen and you've got the extra dough blade and you're a bit of a breadhead, um, you can make your laminated dough by chilling or even freezing your butter, then slicing it in your food processor, because that's how darn good that dish is. Slice it in your food processor and you layer it on. Uh, in the fullness of time, we're going to get some recipe videos together, aren't we? Yes, we are. So, yeah, we are. you will see us again. It'll be a little bit down the line when we get ourselves sorted out. Maybe not me. I mean, I don't think. I think. I don't know. Maybe. I was going to say, we're working quite like well. You'll see us at the show, so I'll be around. Dynamic mix. <laughs> but we can show you some of those recipes if you show interest and mm -hmm. if, you, if you request it. Um, but, yeah, I, there isn't anything that I don't use this, this kit for. Um, 
it's the food processor that I could never live without. So the fact that it's been joined up with yeah. a cook expert. Marriage made in heaven. Um, so this is the dough. Oof. I'm fondling, um, but how gorgeous is that? Let me just cut it down the centre. Um, so I know people that like bread, they're going to appreciate. I mean, how wonderful is that? And that's completely simple. Okay, so this is 250 grams of flour, and that would give you one garlic flatbread. 500 grams of flour is going to give you the two. In the end here, we just go back down here, this is our Norwegian mountain loaf with lots of seeds in, and this, is five, this was 500 grams of flour. Okay. Um, and just answer to a couple more questions, sorry guys, I keep putting it, but um, so in terms of the beep, yeah, it only beeps once to tell you it's done, and then it won't start playing annoying tunes or anything like that, it'll just tell you it's done once, and then you can come back to it. And, and is that where I think I lost track? Did I mention that the double wall mm -hmm. keeps the food hot for two hours, so yes. if it beeps and you're out in the garden, and you don't hear it, it doesn't matter because you come back and it's still hot. Completely. And also it's great because of the double wall. Not only does it keep maintaining the temperature throughout when it's when it's cooking, but you can touch it. And this is incredibly um well it's been it's been cooking and yeah I can touch it with both hands. And just say I'm not a chef so I don't have uh yeah. special hands. <laughs> so we good. did find in um working with some families that it was really good for families because of yes. that safety feature yeah. and the way that you can use the screen, it's so easy for children. So it's a great way to introduce them to food in the kitchen. Yeah. And also in terms of when you wash and dry the bowl, can you use it straight away? Yes, you can. It's not going to be, I, I'm slightly concerned by i.e. not waiting for pins to dry in case they short circuit. Um, there are no, I'm concerned well, by that, but I don't yeah, know. I, think I don't that know what that's about. about. So but this, is, this is the inside of the bowl. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's got a flat base, so you can actually do stir fry, um, and there are programs, and you can use the cook expert where there's no stirring of the blade. And if we show them the bottom of the base, completely, completely safe. You've got the conductivity, and it fits and beautifully here, and there's <laughs> nothing coming out of here either. This is the showcase. We haven't yes. actually said what this is it. Yes. Um, it doesn't matter about anything being dry. I just have to polish that because I love it so much. <laughs> it's the induction hob. Yes. Yes, <laughs> sorry. No, you're just trying to read your question. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm looking for a great big smile because this is what it's all about. So yeah, this, and I sprayed earlier, all of this is waterproof. So as soon as this has a dry bottom, and you don't have to wait for it to dry, it can be, yeah, on it goes, on at the left, to set it. Anyone who, who's had um, a Magimix food processor knows that. Mm -hmm. Everything goes on left, Clip into centre. And I'm Brilliant. sure we'll get onto this, but it is completely safe when you use the food processor part of it as well because you have this beautiful colour. So, those of you who are familiar with Magimix will know that it's the uh, 5200XL, so it's just our biggest uh, food processor model out there, and it has a wonderful collar that it just sits on, goes straight down to a direct shaft. So, our 30 motor, so it's the same food processor, our heart and soul motor that's in there, but it clips on nicely and will ensure that it will never turn on the, um, the induction of the heating when you're using it. So, so we really some... have thought of it. Well, let's use it. Um, so I used to get uh, a chopping board. Would you like me to get this chopped? So while um, Linda's just sorting out the pepper, um, everything else that comes with the cook expert, apart from the metal bowl, you've got your cook expert recipe book, so it's 300 recipes um, all the way, so I'm sure you'll, you'll see it, but we have some beautiful, beautiful recipes to get you started. Um, we have digital scales, so you can be weighing directly into the bowl on there. We've got your food processor bowls, which we will show you momentarily. Uh, we've got this beautiful steamer, so this steamer is something that I love and use quite often because I'm a big fan of fish. But it has, um, it's all stainless steel, so you're not steaming in anything other than that. It fits perfectly into the metal bowl. And then we have a shelf, so you can steam on two layers. So if you're doing um, some veg and some fish, you can do them at the same time. Um, we've also got these beautiful stainless steel sabatier blades. Um, so we're about to show you that in a moment on the, cook e on the food process part of the cook expert but you've got your four millimeter and two millimeter slicing and grating discs that come as standard. Um, so we'll be showing you that as well. And then it all comes in 
this beautiful little box, so it's not going to take up too much space on the shelf. Um, everything we've tried to get is compact as possible, but whilst giving you everything that you need. So whilst it's sitting um, on the side on your counter, you can store your steamer basket perfectly in it. If you want to use your whisk, which I haven't talked about, you can pop it on top and it's all nicely stowed away. The whisk goes up to 110 degrees Celsius, so if you want to be making Italian or Swiss meringues, you can do, or if you're just doing regular meringues or, or wanting to make butter, you can make that as well, and it comes straight onto the side, but we'll show you that also in a moment. Are we ready? Yeah, let's do it. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to stop. It comes with three bowls, mm -hmm. um, and the mini maybe. bowl, not to worry. Um, it comes with the mini bowl, which is great for small quantities. So I'm just going to start off and show you. Um, we've got some bread dough, so what I could do is some Syrian flatbreads using coriander, onion, and some spicing. I'm just going to pop the onions in. So this was all short notice, and this is basically what we have in the store cupboard. Um, so for Syrian bread, I, I'm very partial to coriander, um, but we're going to flavour it with garlic, cumin and coriander, just a pinch of chilli, um, salt and pepper. Brilliant. So that goes in. It's all going to be chopped up. Lid on. The famous plunger goes in. And I was going to just show you. Yes, let's. Go. So at the moment, you can just see that it's sitting on baking. As soon as you pop it across, this is another of one of the locks. It will switch so the food processor, oh. which is great because it knows and it's intelligent enough to know what is on. Thing. It will never let you go into any of the other programs or yeah. turn on the temperature, which is fantastic. Again, they've thought of everything, haven't they? So in no time at all, that's why I love this. It's so efficient already. That's been chopped. So I'm going to add the coriander. This is smelling so good. I know. <laughs> I'm really hungry. hungry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, we actually haven't eaten since I think uh, 11, which, which isn't that bad, but because Excuse we've been me. around so much food today, um, I think we're starting to go a bit, a bit hungry. That's why I'm a little bit edgy. Yeah, I think Overexcited, so. yeah. zesty. So please, excuse me. Exactly. <laughs> You're just going to have to take my word for it, but I'm going to pour this into um, a little round of bread. I'll show you if we've got time, and then I bake it. Um, this was done with garlic butter. <laughs> this is what we thought we could uh, sneakily have before yeah. we uh, started the Facebook Live. But, but I will add this to the flatbreads and show you. Um, this bread it can also be used for naan breads and mm. the dough. It's a very simple recipe. Because it's kneaded so well, it aerates nicely, so you can use it for any kind of recipe. Um, so that's a Syrian bread mix that you bake on the bread, and if any of you naughty people out there ever drink too much alcohol, if you fry an egg and sit an egg on top of that, it's probably the world's best hangover cure. <laughs> I thought you were talking about egg on, the, egg on the alcohol. I was like, no, 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 no. Drink a fried Next egg. Day. On an Next day, a fried egg on this oh, Syrian no. bread is yeah. just truly awesome. And just to mm -hmm. just to confirm, um, Ria, I think, has just asked if you can shop in that bowl. Yes, you can. Um, there are 18 speeds, and at the beginning, speed zero does nothing. And then you have uh, one to seven, which is just stirring. And then from seven to 18, you can chop. So you can finally dice an onion. In your mouth bowl as well. So if you're going to be doing any soup or anything like that, you can you can do that. And I'm not quite quite sure where Linda said she would go, so I will just continue. Um, I can start. Do you, do you want me to start um, chop, uh, slicing and protein? Oh, you've got it. Perfect. So. I've used the midi bowl here because it means it leaves the extra large bowl mm -hmm. clean. So you can use. Um, all three bowls and you can just go rock through multitasks um, yes. and you only wash once. So again, that's another good reason. Oh, um, so I'll do a bit of fruit first actually, then I'll tip that out and show you how it slices vegetables. Can you believe that it would slice an orange for you and a banana? So 
if you're doing any desserts mm. or you want to do some fancy cake or tart decorating, it's brilliant. I bought some great banana chips I did the other day just for running. I mean, right, oh, they're amazing. You just, two millimetre, create a banana. I put some cinnamon on them because I quite like cinnamon. And I put them in the oven and then other mum will run and eat. Fantastic. Rather than gels. That is a nice idea. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Gels are so bad for you. There's so many things you could make in the cortex that are good. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been trying to make my own little feeling. Uh, we can talk about this later. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. There is somebody I met at uh, the Rutland Hood Festival who um, makes gin and she does her own dried fruit, similar way that you do with your banana chips. And she slices her oranges and lemons and limes and grapefruit. This is a whole medium orange. So it's going into the large shoot. She would love this. So if you're watching, I don't mention any names, but it is a very good orange gin that she produces. And um, this is for you. I'm just going to pulse it. Brilliant. And with a banana. I love the smell of orange. Mm. So that's how well it slices a banana. Oh, and I allowed the orange to slip over to the side, so you're not going to see how well the orange is sliced. So I'm just going to show you this one. Oh, is there a good one there? Because um, I've got photographs of the last one. Because I'm not concentrating, I let it slip over. But if you keep it on its end, it will slice so you've got the perfect segments. And same with the banana, you can get little round discs. So, Depending on how you put it through the food processor, you're going to um, get perfect rounds or you can slice it long. Oh, there we go. They are very neat. They are, yeah. Yeah. So let me show you with the fruit. And in terms of, uh, someone just asked um, about the metaphor crushing ice or milk line enough for flour. Uh, now, I did actually experiment that, yes. Uh, not in the food processor, but in the cook expert. In the vegetable. Yep. Um, I put it in the cook expert and I ran it a minute at a time mm. on 18. And yes, in three minutes it was milled. I made some bread again. I've made some photographs of that oh, that we could post on Facebook. Yeah. Um, do you want to say yeah, more? Yes, so we have. Um, we also have a Facebook group, it's called Cook Expert UK. I think a few people are already members on there, but please come and join. Um, a lot of people have already purchased a Cook Expert who are on there, so you can talk to them, so Cook Expert owners, but also um, everyone else can join and ask questions and just be open and share exactly like Miriam's uh, Facebook group here. Um, we all love cooking, we love creating things, so, but it's specifically for the Cook Expert and not other vegetables. Um, someone else has just asked that they're going to be moving to a small flat and how much space will all the bits take up in the cupboard or shelf? Um, good question. Um, and it's perfect if you have limited space. Mm -hmm. So you can see here the cook how much space a cook expert takes up. It's about a sheet of A4 it paper. It is, yeah, A4 paper. Um, and then these are the discs so they can sit on a shelf along with the food processor jug. Mm -hmm. Or um, I've actually got a drawer that I put mine in here and all the accessories fit in one drawer. And the steamer fits perfectly, we can show you oh, a bit, but the yes. steamer fits perfectly inside the bit. So this oh, is the quality of the ingredients. Everything, all the accessories are really high quality. These are stainless steel. So I use mine for prepping food, as I chop or as I prepare stuff. Um, I can collect it from the fridge in here and I can put the waste in here. Uh, this is very exciting because did you know, I've only just learnt myself, the these little dim... Yeah! Yeah, the eggs! Yeah, I was about to say, I didn't know that. You. Yes, the eggs! You can sit eggs in here. So That's you really can good. really show off. You yeah. can make homemade bread, you can boil eggs, steam things. You can do it, pull everything. Um, and I, have, I can now do um, boiled eggs, soft boiled eggs and hollandaise sauce in here. At the same time, loads of homemade yeah. bread and do a show off breakfast or brunch, really good. It's got a silicone handle, so when you pull it out, mm. um, it will hold a medium sized uh, chicken. So yeah. I joint up the chicken and it will go partly in here, partly on the top. And if it's hot, um, oh, marvellous, thank you very much. Um, you can use the handle of the spatula. So, again, talking of um, Magimix having thought of everything, not only do they have the classic 
Whereas that, the classic spatula, the kit comes with this one too. It's got this kind of groovy little shape to go around the hips. Um, it's got the flat base, but then this goes round and catches um, along the bottom, can you see? But then also, hey presto, you can actually get it to the side. And because they're not sharp blades, they don't nick the corners or the edges at all. So you can take everything off from the bottom. So this, if it's um, if you've been doing crushed ice and making some frozen desserts and you're a quick expert, you can then it's too cold and it gets stiff. You can easily unlock it. So you just literally unlock. Super simple. I'm doing it one-handed. So it comes out completely. And then you can just Wash that beautifully, take everything around the side, get all the dough out, or if you're wanting, maybe you've done some raw eggs and you wanted to give it a deep clean, you can put it in the dishwasher, um, just remove this, and pop it in. I mean, you can put these in the dishwasher too, but every so often you might want to just oil it up again just to make sure the seal is nice and tight. But yeah, good tip. Yeah, that's a good tip. I find it easy if you do that first. Well, it's very, very easy. You do it exactly the same way, but this is why. When that comes on, I will show you the universal blade. Mm -hmm. um, it's got two little ears, so it's very easy to handle. Your hands are going to slip out, but it clips on to the universal blade, so it's going nowhere. So you can pour. This has got two handles or a pouring spout, and that's not going to come out, which is awesome. Um, and it's got a very rakish design. Works very nicely. <laughs> It works very well. I did see a comment, but I won't. Uh, it doesn't break apart, as someone said. Uh, another brands did. I don't know about this, so but don't worry. It's oh. completely. It's 110 degrees. Yeah, um, up to 110 degrees. So you could do hot meringues. Awesome. Yes. Um, it might be worth mentioning the guarantee on this too, then. Oh yeah. So it's it's a 30 year most guarantee. So the same um, same as the magic standard, and we have a three year parts and warranty guarantee as well. So you're reminded Why would you give those warranties unless you have total faith in your equipment. That's that's I feel fine really oh, good really. Sure. Okay. So we'll carry on. We could do this all night. I, I know, I'm slightly concerned that you know. it's already we've been going for half an hour and I'm slightly concerned that we might start boring people. Yeah, I'm um, going to can I slice my courgette before we go? Yes, yes you, you can, you yes. Food processor. I'm <laughs> Um, I'm going to run this now and just show you how sharp the blade is. So by just letting them fall in, it's so sharp it catches even bouncy skins on peppers. Um, and I didn't do that with much care and attention, so that wasn't a great demonstration. But that's for us to eat. And yeah. whereas when you're at a dinner party, you just make sure that you keep the food processor, uh, the food processor, the pusher, all the way down the food processor. That's and then it's perfectly, perfectly but, hot. Oh, oh, there we go. So we done it. Oh, see, we can put too long. Sauce. <laughs> and it's not that it's burnt. It's just that your lighting isn't correct. So all of you people out there, if you're watching us, go and turn your lights on. This tastes lots better. Than my cooking. <laughs> and it got, is your cooking. But isn't that beautiful slicing? Oh, completely. No, but that's because we were, No, but this is this is exactly what we we've, we've been trying to do. And and realistically, from someone who has all the experience that you do in terms of the world of cooking, you you know, um, <laughs> you still have the creativity that you want. Whereas for someone oh, like me, yeah. who sort of sometimes cooking is a bit of a convenience. Sometimes I get really into it. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the expert, I was never yeah. trained. Um, and this is just so nice, because each of the automatic programs yeah. that we've designed, you can tweak things a little bit, but we've perfected them so that it will it will keep it always so that it's perfect in yeah. the automatic program. So if you want to do a, uh, a bread or a soup, it will always make sure that it's gonna get it right for you. Yes. Um, and you whilst you can tweak it, we'll always get it right. Yeah. Which is perfect. And that's where the expert comes yeah. in. So you don't have to be a cook. If you or, quite right. If you yeah. stick to the recipe, there are put it in or chuck it in recipes, one button press, the cream soup, mm -hmm. um, things like um, risotto and stews, simmering programs. It can simmer for up to four hours. 
Um, so it's great. So if you are on a training day and you're running, yes. you can come back and before you take your shower, you load it up, mm -hmm. press, oh, it would be a cook expert, press cream soap, go upstairs, you come down, you're eating something healthy. Oh, and to be fair, oh, and if I'm completely honest, it's mm -hmm. made me a better cook. Yeah, um, it and it gives me the confidence to be like, okay, I can do this, or I can leave it, and I can yeah. go off and come back, and that's just not, it's not just me saying that, it's a lot of seriousness. Um, I've learned a lot even just from the recipes, and now I'm playing with things, yeah. and I found other recipes online, and I've started uh, converting them. My mum was super proud of me. We made oh. a cherry compote, she was like, oh my daughters, you were not the one. <laughs> I was like, I'm so good now. It's all good. It's it it better yeah. yeah. Anyway, what else are we showing? So it, I think you've highlighted it there. Yeah. It, does it helps, mm -hmm. but it doesn't steal your creativity and it doesn't numb your brain. So you can follow a recipe, you can have a creative day, or you can blindly press a button. I mean, yeah, it covers all bases. Have we got any questions? Um, I've just you? looked at a few of them. Some of them are making me smile. Um, we've got I, I need not to want one. one. Oh no, you, you need. Yeah. <laughs> Life's too short not to need one. Um, that is true. And if it's price that's worrying you, uh, the Australians have already done um, cook the box and found that it pays for itself. If you use it as much as I do, um, around well several times a day, it's going to pay for itself in three months. It is, yeah. It it saves you so much because you use up everything. And realistically, if you're a little bit more like me, who uses it sort of maybe for dinners and an occasion for breakfast or smoothies, uh, probably six. Yeah, so itself. still within six months in terms of the, the time for getting other ingredients and sorting itself out. So in terms of the price as well, um, it's £1,195 including VAT and delivery, um, 30 year warranty. Have we shown everyone what comes with that? Yes, yeah, yeah, but we can take them through again. Um, so you've got all the things to make it a food processor where you can slice, grate, um, chop, puree. Um, you've got your steamer, your steaming basket, you've got your whisk, you've got your digital scales, you've got your two spatulas, which you can walk about. Um, you've got your 300 page recipe book. And just to say as well, the app um, that we have, which is called the Cook Expert app, completely 100% free and it has Magic Mix recipes and we are updating it constantly and, and adding, and I say constantly, it's probably adding a couple every month, but we also have consumer recipes. So if you fancy adding your own recipe to it, you can add it. Um, we will moderate it just to make sure that uh, it makes sense um, and there's no bad language every so often putting it in there, but we'll, um, we'll accept it. But all the recipes that Magic Mix put up, we try and test and everything the consumer, you guys put up, um, it's just highlighted as consumer, which means that Magic Mix hasn't tested it, but someone else has and you can rate and you can review them and you can comment on them. And the app itself, I can't, I don't know if it's going to actually work, but if you guys download it, you also have a shopping list that's on it. You can make notes on your own recipes, so, um, and the recipe's on the app, so if you suddenly realise that you don't want to do um, a particular ingredient or anything, you can just tweak it yourself, and then it's, it's unique to your account as well, so that's a great, a great win. And then if you're like me and you forget an ingredient, you can quickly send the ingredient list to, uh, or send the recipe to someone else to go pick it up for you when uh, out in the store cutting home. Yes, um, I like that idea. Oh, I do all the time. I'm like, can you please go get this for me? Um, <laughs> all right, I run off. These are the Syrian flatbreads I was talking about, and great way to do this, even if you're doing pizzas. Um, using a spoon, you can spoon out the mixture. So if it was the tomato sauce for um, a pizza, you would just use the back of the spoon to shape. down add now I haven't got anything on the work surface so what's going to be really challenging is lifting that off and putting it onto a baking sheet but I've got every faith in my magic mix spatula I'm just going to come this side because that's the side of the paper oh aren't I glad that I cleaned my baking sheets <laughs> But looking at your kitchen, I'm pretty sure that it's all uh, always clean mm. again. So, beautiful aid to bread making. Um, and what would be really good is just oil the crust. Mm. Definitely going to take her a Yes. 
I'll pop those in and they will take 15, 18 minutes. Um, these sliced vegetables, I'd probably serve them with some grilled halloumi and um, a spicy tomato sauce or easily um, you could have tahini and yogurt. Yeah, go down the Mediterranean route. Uh, any any other questions? I've just seen um, a couple of other people. So someone's asked, does it have internal scales? The answer is no. We chose not to make internal scales because the danger of having something um, having scales inside the machine is that you're constantly putting pressure on it when it's when it's using things. So you're knocking scales are so delicate because you need to make sure that you get gram by gram exactly you know what you're measuring and therefore we've chosen that the best thing it really is to have external scales. It's really useful when you can pop your magic mix um, bowl, the cook exit bowl on it and then reset. Oh, I've turned it off. Held it down too long and then you can start adding ingredients in um, and it will go up gram by gram so I don't know if I'll be light enough but yeah you can slowly see it going up um, but we've chosen not to have it built into the machine. The joy is it goes up to 10 kilograms as well. Exactly. So and even that, when this is cooking, um, you or once you've weighed everything in and this is cooking, you can still carry on using the scales and preparing for other things. And you're not risking it Absolutely. being wrong. So after a few times of, of weighing in, in something that's constantly being used, you'll start to danger the scales and they'll start yeah. measuring wrong. They do compromise, yeah. And also, um, if the appliance is moved Worked across, uh, dragged across the works. The other thing is, if you do a lot of pureeing, uh, making soup, bread, smoothies, there is some movement, and it, it will work uh, work, work itself um, on the works. That would put pressure and vibration through the feet where the scales are. So that's another reason. But one why. thing to show as well is because the the I just took the trainer. Yeah. The, motor. It's a shame you guys, if anyone is going to be, uh, wants to see it in person this summer, please do come to the shows and you can have a touch and a feel. But in terms of um, the feet, it has these beautiful feet that will help it keep staying solid and the reason why it's so solid is due to the motor. So it won't, if you try and push it, it's not going to push against along the surface, which is great, you yeah. making the dough Absolutely. earlier. So even and when it vibrates, it, there's no movement, it doesn't mm -hmm. walk along the counter, which again is really good because of the locks and the, the secure lid, you can walk away from it while it's um, pureeing soup um, or while it's making bread, mm -hmm. whereas I don't know when other appliances you can do that, they will wobble okay, yeah. and eventually kind of vibrate along the counter, but not the magnets. Can we run through all the programs? Yes. Yeah, Good perfect. idea. Let's pop this on. I'll plug it back in. <laughs> perfect. So the the digital screen acts as a carousel, so you can never go wrong. You can just keep going until you find it again. So if we just start, you've got your beautiful auto clean. Um, I won't make it start, but you've got your okay. You can change. The, uh, the time, if you want to do a little bit longer, up to a minute. Uh, this just means that you should not put the whisk in when you're auto cleaning because the speed is incredibly high. And you can also make sure that you're getting something quite nice and hot if you want to go up to 60 degrees, um, or you can bring the temperature back down. So that's your auto clean. And then you press auto. We'll do an auto clean at the end, actually. I think that'll be quite necessary. Yeah. Um, then you've got your expert program. And so this is if you want to fine tune. So you can change the time um, all the way down to no time at all, but then all the way up to so four hours, as we said earlier. But I'll just show you that going up slightly, but it continues. Um, so you can have it so that it's on zero speed. Um, so if you're doing um, anything that you want to just make sure that it's there, then you've got one A, which means it will, it will go around and then it will stop, and then it will go again, and then it will stop, and then you can go two A. So all the way up to seven is where you'll start to get the mixing and combining of your ingredients. And then as you start going up, it will go um, into more of a chopping, so you'll start chopping meat around these areas to 14, and then when you go all the way up to 18, that's when you're dicing completely, so you've completely diced the onion. Then you've got your, your temperature, so from 0, 30, 31 is where you want to be proving your bread at, and that's where you'd have the zero speed as well. And then you can go all the way up, all the way up, all the way up to 140 degrees. Um, then you've got 
your cooking. And again, we've got a carousel that takes you through. I'm sorry, I've taken your <laughs> no, no, your thing. But um, so we've got your cream soup program, pureed soup program, simmering, stir fry, steamer, and then it keeps going round. And then when you go into the programs, you can start adjusting if you want to steam for a little bit longer, or maybe you want to change the temperature slightly. There is parameters around this because we make sure that it's exactly what you need. And again, you can go onto the expert programs if you want to be making anything slightly differently. Um, you've got your blender, so if you want to do a smoothie, which Linda, I know you're quite fond of. Yes. Yes. Um, you've got your crushed ice, so oh, I made some snow cones earlier. Oh, yeah. did you? Yes. Oh, so good. Yes. It was so And hot. the weather's like this. Um, I've used it for making homemade frappuccinos. Oh, fantastic. Um, but also, the crushed ice program I discovered was brilliant for checking in um, parmesan. Oh, really? We could demonstrate that if you like. Oh, we should. Yeah, we, we go through what? the things and then you get everything off. Yeah. Um, the crushed ice, uh, one that I, I just watch is whether you go from, from the ice blocks to the, to the little things to the snow cones, which is quite delicious. And then afterwards, the bowl itself becomes very cold because you've got that stainless steel conductivity and then you can start making some frozen desserts, which is always quite nice, especially in this time of year. Um, when we've got your baking program, so you've got your pastry and cake, your bread and brioche and your beaten egg whites. And then we've got your food processor. It won't let you start playing anything in there because it's not um, the food processor. Then you start getting your settings, so you can change it. You can go to standby mode. You can change the sound in terms of the volume of what you want it to when it makes the beep. Um, you've got your accessories. So I know a couple of you have been asking about accessories, so I'll have to answer those questions momentarily. Um, your child resistance, so if you've got kids at home and you want to make sure that they're not going to be turning anything on, you can go in and turn it on and it basically means that you, they can't actually, they can play with the buttons and it's absolutely fine, but they cannot turn on the temperature, they cannot make any of the blades work, so that's fantastic if you've got yeah. children or nieces or nephews or anyone running around that you don't want it to go on. Hot mix mode, that's when you're creating soups um, and at first it will, it will blend all the ingredients together and then it will raise the temperature maybe after 40 minutes. Um, then it will ask you to actively engage um, to re-blend the ingredients because it's as if you've taken it from the hat hob and then you're putting it onto the blender. Oh. Um, and so it makes sure, nine times out of 10, you are, I wouldn't put it on, but say if I have a dog or a kids around, I will put it on and make sure that it, right. so I actively have to engage. And it will just remind me that yes, it's time to blend um, and it will tell you that. Uh, user manual, it will take you to the QR code. So if you've lost your user manual, you can find it for you online. If you want to change your menu order, you can do. Languages, if you want to change the language. If you work in Fahrenheit or Celsius, Come on, I people, know. get with exactly. the program. Celsius, please. Yes, me too. It shows you what you've been using. I this is Linda's favourite. Yeah. Um, Just how busy have I been? Yeah, 19 hours. I've been motoring yeah. for 19 hours. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Um, demo mode, that's just for install it and just slowly carousel through all the programs. I wouldn't expect anyone at home to be using that. Um, recipes, again, if you want to find quickly our, um, our recipes online, if you've got an Apple phone, just take it here, scan it, and it will take you across. Um, every camera, I don't know if you knew this, Linda, has a QR code built into it nowadays. I only you recently did. found that out, yes. um, but I'm learning something every day, and I'm learning something about the mm -hmm. food expert. Every day I feel like as well. we almost be going on for an hour. I'm really sorry, guys. And um, so, should we do your your parmesan on the crushed ice, which Might I didn't even know existed? Yeah. Um, where did I deposit the cap? Oh, I was playing with it. So oh, oh yes, the, um, sorry. Lovely. So you can throw it in, um, and this will demonstrate a few things. I'm going to keep the rind. Do you know? Well, it would actually. Um, grate the rind for me as well, mm -hmm. but I put these in casseroles to flavour, oh. and then you can just lift them out. So nothing is wasted. No. Okay. So we're using the blender program. Okay. And yes, I do love my smoothies. But crushed ice. So I've discovered that it will crumble chocolate because there's not a good way to grate chocolate. You can chop it, and um, but if you put it through a food processor. Um, the friction or you try to grate it, um, the friction makes it kind of crawl up your hand and melt and it gets very static. But in here it will chop it up for you, no problem. Um, but also parmesan. So here we go.
So I believe this is a great demonstration of snowing and firing up any other appliance at this stage for moving around a lot. This is so stable. And I'm going to stop it there because it's done. Um, so you can leave it to be finer if you like, but Ooh. fabulous. So hard cheeses, Could even you there. Yeah, chocolate. Oh. Because so I sometimes grate chocolate or I put a, I put a pomegranate disc as well to use in the food processor. But, but now I'm like, ooh. I don't think you actually need an extra disc. I no, know. you don't. There no. isn't anything I've found it won't do. Um, so if you have a very rich and very wet dough, you do have to stop mm. and scrape it down uh, just to make sure it gets all of it. But um, I did video doing a brioche with six eggs and it, it handled it fine. Um, so it... I haven't found anything it doesn't do yet. I'm still looking. Really? Um, but then you can tell me. I would, yeah. I, I, there would be a way. I've got this faith now. I've used it enough to have this faith that if I haven't worked it out, then you and the Magic Mix Boffins would tell me. Yeah. So that's a great thing. So we just recap on where you can get support for learning? Yes. So, um, if you signed up. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. And, and it's great because we only met a couple of months ago as well, so this is great. Um, so in terms of if you guys have any other questions, uh, the best thing to do is to email cookexpert at magimix.co.uk and uh, you'll get my number into the, into the email. And the other place to go is the Facebook group that I think Maria has already put in the, in the chain, so thank you very much, but it's called Cook Expert UK. And please join it. It's it's got a, some of us in it, and it's also more importantly got some of you guys in it. So people who have bought the Cook Expert already, um, they've already started sharing. I love it every time I see it. Yeah, and I'm always cool. afraid to put anything myself because I'm constantly making things, and I'm like, oh, they're gonna know. They're gonna say, no, we don't want to see it from you. So that's that's oh, fine. But it's really nice for me to see it. And it's well, you they can ask there, can't they? It's true. Yeah, they just ask. you might just add more. But I'm going to mm -hmm. jump in and start contributing too. So if you've got any questions, that's yeah. another place you could find me, um, and I'll start putting some of my. Um, my short videos and recipes on there. But if you've got any questions, you can get hold of me through there. And hopefully in the future, we might do some more sessions like this and yeah. you'd find out about that on Facebook. Give us an excuse yeah. to see each other. I mean, maybe but they don't want me on it, but we constantly they should, should come and see us I at think the shows yes. again. So yes. a quick recap, we're at Country File yes. very soon. Yes, so that's Blenheim, 1st and 4th of August. Bingo. So Thursday through Sunday. Yeah, if you get the chance, please, and make yourself known to us. If you've yes. seen this and you come and show, we'll you come there. to one of those shows, please come and make yourself known. Um, you can get the Linda and the Kira handshake. Yes. <laughs> I mean, working, when were you working? Where they're at 15th, 15th to 18th August, where uh, Thursday to Friday, uh, to Sunday. Oh, well, that's when uh, Castle Howard? Castle Howard. Oh, Castle sorry, that was Castle yeah. Howard, sorry. Then working, which is the 30th of August to the 1st of September. Brilliant. Um, and there'll be much more show, but it will yeah. be as exciting and as fun. Um, then we've got Tame Food Festival, which is the 29th to 30th of September. Yeah. And truthfully, guys, um, where and when we will be, where and when, when and where, we'll speak. <laughs> we're hungry. We need to we're hungry. Please. But, um, but, so, wherever we're going to be and wherever you're going to see the Cook Expert, we'll let you know. And the, the first place we'll let you guys know is the Cook Expert UK Facebook group. Um, and we'll, we'll pop in where, when and where we're going to be. Um, and as we said earlier, we are, we are in discussion with a few quite specialist kitchen, yeah. kitchen um, stores. Um, but you don't like to... from September, but yeah. so that you understand and you can get the, uh, the full Cook Expert. Absolutely, because to buy this and unbox it and start from scratch, mm. I think you would be doing the Magic Mix a disservice. Um, the Cook Expert is great, but I'm still learning every day. So yeah. yeah, use use all the support that's in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've just seen another another couple of questions before we go. Okay, um, so please please ask uh, just before we leave and let you guys have your uh, have your um, your evenings back. And I'm sure you're 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 thankful for this. But in terms of uh, I think Pip said hers goes up to 160. Yes, it does. I accidentally was on the wrong program for doing that. Um, it's because we've been filming, and you've asked me what we've been filming. And um, I think we can say we've been filming the unboxing video to let you guys all know what's coming in. Yeah. But this this is better than the unboxing yeah. video. Well, it's on the back of that, and yes. it's that with knobs on. Exactly. Um, let's see, I forgot what I was going to say. 
no, no, no. It was um, oh, program parameters for safety. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned that earlier. Um, that's right, yeah, unboxing. We've been uh, filming unboxing, and that's because everything is so new. Yeah. So this is a great chance for us to tell you about it, so thank you very much. Um, and, um, and likewise, if you have any questions, please, please don't be afraid to ask. Um, I know a lot of you out there already have, uh, or not a lot of you, not enough of you, but some of you have the, the Cook Expert already, and you've already been answering them, so that's great. Thank you, because multitasking and hunger is not always the best. Uh, the best situation, but I appreciate your patience, guys. And um, yeah, please e uh, email Cook Expert Magic Mix UK, join the group, ask the questions, come see us at the shows just because yeah. we, we like talking to people. We like Download the app. Download the app so we get some more yeah. feedback from that. That would be good. It is available on Android. I saw someone ask because I only showed the Apple. But yes, it is available on Android. We are in the process um, this week and next week putting them onto our website as well. So um, it's, it's all go, go, go. And thank you guys for being the first to see a, That's it. a pseudo live demonstration. So yes, woohoo! Over a good night. Yes. yes, please, can we eat? <laughs> yes.